hello and welcome everyone for another video and in today's video i'll be talking about the best practices you need to follow while writing lightning web component and you may get this as an interview question as well and uh, here i'll be talking about salesforce specific best practices related to lightning web component but there are a couple of other best practices as well uh, related to the uh, traditional web development and html javascript and css and we will all we will talk about them in any other video but here today i'll be talking about salesforce related best practices on aligning web components so um i've got my handwritten notes with me and you can you can get them just ping me on linkedin and i'll i'll uh, tell you what these are and uh, we'll discuss the all the best practices so the first best practice uh, is that you need to follow the salesforce given lightning design system and uh, no matter how good you are in the html there is a reason why salesforce has included those things in the design system so if it is available in the design system try to follow that because uh, you know it will be quick the perf performance wise it will be good and uh, also you need to write uh, you know less amount of code uh, in comparison to any any of the work around so try to follow the lightning design system uh, and uh, the second thing is see we have to we have to think about lightning data services and if something is possible from the lightning data services it is always good to use the lightning data services instead of native apex and calling apex and updating or getting data because if requirement is easy and you can get something directly from the data services then there is no point of doing a server call and uh, you know involving apex with that so lightning data services is a, is a friend treat it like like a friend and use it wisely because it will improve the performance a lot all right with that we have the third one uh, see if you are calling server and if you are getting something from server or if you are doing something in server it is really important to reduce the number of uh, items we are getting and not only items it is very important that we are reducing the number of columns or uh, things we are getting back because number of columns and number of items basically slows down the performance of your page and if you are calling everything in a single in a single call it will be very difficult for server to respond in a uh, in an efficient manner and it will slow down your page so make sure that you are limiting the number of column and items you are retrieving uh, see if it is possible to cache your data then try to caching your data because it is it is really important that that you cache your data because it will improve your performance a lot and you know your page will respond uh, very very well it, it was it was also possible that in the aura component and with the lwc it is also possible uh, but it is really important okay uh, if your page has so many event listeners then your page will be you know will be very busy listening those events so try to limit the number of event listeners in your page because if your page is always busy listening those events then you know it will it will not be very good and healthy for the performance of that page try to limit those things uh, you need to disable the debug, debug mode basically uh, mostly in the production if debug mode is enabled then it will slow down the performance and if you have if your users are facing uh, the uh, performance related issue and page is loading slowly or something then you need to check those things as well because sometimes debug mode uh, you know uh, slows down the performance uh, you need not to call apex from all the methods all from from let's say if you have multiple child under a parent and you are calling apex from every child it is not a very good approach you should have one parent component which should be calling apex and getting data and then that apex should be calling the child components that is the framework you should be following that this is a very normal framework but you should be following that because calling from every child component calling calling apex from every child component is not a very good thing and and this will basically slow down and you will not be able to read your code properly as well let's say somebody you know overtakes your uh, role and it will be very difficult for him to you know think about that if you follow a proper approach proper framework it will be easy for him because he just need to check one controller of the parent and uh, then one one class nothing else uh, so yes do think about that see uh, now with the javascript you have you have you've got a very very good weapon in your hand and a lot of uh, you know uh, inbuilt methods are available in the javascript which will not only decrease the time complexity but also reduce the space complexity but it is very important that you think about 
uh, browser compatibility as well because you know you may be using everything latest and uh, you know LWC is based on ECMAScript uh, 7 so it is uh, considering all the latest thing but the user who is using that application may be using an old browser so it is very important that uh, any method which you are using is compatible with all the browsers all the latest uh, versions of that browser so browser compatibility is something which should also be taken care of okay as a developer it is very important to have console logs and think about how to debug your code but uh, your code should not have too many too many console log statement especially in the production you should avoid uh, sending anything which has console log it will not only affect the performance it it will decrease the readability and it uh, you know makes you look like a bad developer so don't use console statements especially in your production code you can check everything in the sandbox and then you have to remove all those things it doesn't look good when your code goes to production and has console statements okay uh, the last point is that if you're using third party third third party library think about an alternate solution think about what salesforce natively provides you uh, because third party library basically gives you a lot of things definitely gives you a lot of things but also you know impacts the performance of the page and in order to make your page fancy you should not be compromising with the with the performance of the page and and again third party uh, being the third party you're not very sure about the support on those third party libraries so don't uh, you know overuse them uh, or if you're using them uh, then please make sure that you're using the best third party libraries and everything whose support is available globally because if support is not available on that library and if you're using it and let's say in future if support is not there then it will be very difficult for you to redo all those things and it will have cost and uh, time time impact as well guys so all these are the points i wanted to highlight right now you can you can highlight all three especially three four points in your interview if you get it as an interview question and if you are developing lightning web components or if you have started using lightning web components recently uh, you should always focus on all these points and i'll, I'll keep adding points here and I'll also make a video on specific technology specific points like on HTML, JavaScript and CSS. Uh, do ping me on LinkedIn if you want to get the notes on, on these topics and I'll be more than happy to give you. Thank you. If you like the content, please share it with your friends so that I can reach to the maximum people. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.